Now in this section we're going to see how to use image alt tags. Now one of the great things about the web is, is as well as displaying text you can display pictures, images. As it says in bullet point 2 there, unfortunately uh, Google doesn't really understand what the picture is about. So the good news is there is a way of telling Google what the picture is about and you, use something, you can use something called alt tags. Now alt is short for alternative. The original idea of alt tags was that you would tag a picture for the benefit of people with visual impairments. So they would use um, special software that when it came across a picture, it would read the alt tag in the background of the picture and then uh, read out loud what the alt tag said so that it would be useful, as I say, for people with visual impairments. Now it's vitally important that you do use alt tags. If we bring up the Google Web Webmaster Guidelines one more time and go to where it says help Google understand your pages, you can see clearly it says ensure that your title elements and alt attributes are descriptive, specific and accurate. So what that means is uh, you need to use alt tags but you need to use them in the right way. They need to be reasonably short, they need to be descriptive for what the picture is about, specific to that picture and they need to be accurate. You know, what you don't want are alt tags across a hundred different pictures all having the same alt tag. You know, each alt tag should be unique for a particular picture. Now the way you use alt tags will obviously differ depending on what sort of program you're using to create your website. If you're using WordPress, it's very, very straightforward as we'll see. But let's take a quick look. So here we are in the back end of a typical WordPress installation. If I wanted to, I could go to where it says media and I could go to Add New, and I could click on Select Files or just drag and drop to uh, move the files in. But if I click on where it says Select Files here, and then go to Pictures, select a particular file. Uh, notice this file in this case has the file name Microsoft Office 210 Training Materials. So this is actually a image I customized for one of my uh, training programs. So we'll leave that as it is for the time being. Anyway, I'll just click on open here to upload the uh, program, or upload the image rather. So the image has now been uploaded. If I go to uh, media here, I can see the image I've just uploaded. And over here to the right, you have this alt text. So in this particular case, let's say this was something to do with um, word training or something. I could type in something like, Microsoft Word Training, just crack the typo there. Basically what Google would do, it would take the image information, you now the file name, so the file name in this case is Microsoft Office 2010 Training Materials Cheltenham.jpg and it would also have the image from the alt tag which is Microsoft Word Training. So if I now close that, that will be associated with that. So if I go and create a new page, just a temporary page in this case, this is actually using the old editor We'll go with it. I'll just give it a file name. And in here, I'll just go to Add Media. We'll get the image from the media uh, library. Notice it's got the alt tag there. If I insert that into the page, if I go and click on text here to see the, the information in the background, the HTML information, you can see, sure enough, it's got the alt tag embedded within it. So I say there's various ways, that even within WordPress, you can um, associate an alt tag with a picture. But in that particular case, what I did was I associated an alt tag with the picture when I uploaded it, which is probably the best way of doing it. As we saw earlier, using something like Firefox, you can hover over an image, right click, click on where it says inspect element. And then as you can see in this example here, you'll see information displayed about that particular image and the file name and the alt tag and so on and so forth.